Hello maths fans! The annual Tom Rocks Maths essay competition is back and open for entries. A huge thank you to the Oxford University Department for Continuing Education for again partnering with the competition. This is your chance to win prizes by simply writing about your favourite maths topic for a non-specialist audience. As with last year, one of the prizes will be a place on an online course at the University of Oxford, which will include the two that I'll be teaching on linear algebra and calculus. To enter, you need to write an essay explaining something that you find mathematically interesting. This does not have to be something you've learned at school or university, it really can be any topic that you can interpret in a mathematical way. If you're looking for ideas, I've linked to a couple of videos in the description box below, which include a mathematical model for the top speed of a dinosaur, making mathematical art using a type of algorithm called an L system, and my favourite topic, modelling the chance of catching a Pokemon via a geometric series. All past entries, including the previous winners, can be found on the essay competition page at tomrocksmaths.com, which are of course also an excellent source of ideas. I will be reading all entries that are submitted, and yes, it does take a while, so please be patient, before announcing a winner's shortlist over the summer. The prizes will be awarded to my two favourite essays from that shortlist. So what am I looking for? I narrow it down to two keywords, entertainment and education. I want your essays to be fun to read. I'm expecting several hundred entries, so the more entertaining you can make it, the more fun I'm going to have when reading it, and therefore the more likely it is to stick in my mind when it comes to judging the winners. But it also has to be educational. I want to learn something new. This doesn't mean you need to discover something new or pick a niche topic that most people haven't heard of. A lot of the previous entries I've enjoyed over the years have applied a well-known area or topic of maths to an interesting and novel situation. Take last year's winners, for example. We had one essay talking about fluid dynamics, the literal topic I studied in great detail for four years for my PhD. So none of the maths was new to me necessarily, but I loved the way that it was used to explain history, and in particular the shape of ancient Greek vases. The second winning essay discussed lots of the techniques that I teach to my first year students here at Oxford in the dynamics course, but in the essay these techniques and tools were applied to skateboarding. So it's taking maths that people likely already know, but using it in an entertaining and enlightening way. So, now you're all feeling sufficiently motivated and excited to start writing, here are the rules. Anyone can enter. There are no eligibility requirements other than the essay must be your own work, and that does include no help from AI. There will be two categories for entry, adult, which means anyone 18 or over at the time of submission, and student, which means anyone under 18 at the time of submission, or anyone still in full-time education at school, for example taking A-levels or an equivalent qualification. If you're already at university, then please select the adult category. The deadline will be 11.59pm on Monday the 7th of April. This means you can submit your entry at any point on that Monday, but I recommend trying to get it in over the weekend just to be safe. As with previous years, all of the entries will be published online at tomrocksmaths.com as part of the essay showcase, with a winner's shortlist to be revealed over the summer. There is no hard word limit, but something around 1,000 to 2,000 words should be more than enough. It's important to be able to convey the maths and convey your ideas in a succinct and entertaining manner. All entries must be submitted using the online form as either a PDF or a Microsoft Word document. The link for the entry form will be posted directly below this video, both as a pinned comment and also at the top of the video description box. When completing the form, you will need to declare whether you are over or under 18, plus a couple of other small details so we can determine which category 
and therefore which prize you are eligible for. Both prize-winning essays will be published online via the university website, again keeping the tradition from previous years. I think that should be all of the key information you need. For any other questions or if you'd like anything clarified, then please do head to the competition website, which is the same link as the entry form in the box below. And remember, anyone can enter. Whether you're at school, university, working in the real world, even if you're retired, the competition is open to everyone around the world, regardless of your location, your age, or your qualifications. I say this every year and I make no apologies for saying it once again, but I really do love reading all of your incredible essays. So thank you so much for all of your hard work that goes into producing these entries. And I think I can say I speak for maths fans around the world when I say we as a community of mathematicians have learnt so, so much from the Tom Rocks Maths essay competition. And this only continues to happen each year because of all of you amazing people writing such brilliant pieces of mathematics communication. Enjoy the process and remember, keep rocking maths. Good luck.